Good morning, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker. I'm coming to you today. I made it to um, back to Illinois from Palmyra. Um, we're getting ready to go. Uh, got up this morning and uh, fixed my food, food. Took him out. He went out there to the bathroom to do what he had to do. Now, what we're going to do is he has to pick out what he wants to wear today because he had that sweater on for like three days. So he got two more. He got two more outfits that he has he can wear. He has one that says wolf on it, and then he has his player outfit. So we're gonna see which one he wanna wear. He'll probably wanna wear his player outfit today. Ripley, I got your I got your outfits. This one has a hood on it. This one doesn't, and it's cold outside. Which one you wanna wear? Which one of these you want to wear? You want your player outfit? Or do you want your wolf outfit? Which one? You want player? Which one you want? Pick out pick out your outfit. You want your play you want your wolf outfit? You don't want to wear your player? Put on your player outfit. We're gonna put your player outfit on. put that in dirty clothes and then here you can put on your um put on your player outfit okay all right put this on and give me your other arm now put that on okay all right rip you ready for the day Got your player outfit on? Huh? You look good in red, real. Be right there. We can wear that. We can wear this another time. Okay? Put the um thing in. Okay, so we got him ready and we should be on our way out the out the gate, y'all. Okay, fam, I have left Pennsylvania. Uh, I got a load coming to uh, Edwardsville, Illinois. It is 700 and 772 miles. So that gives me a total of 2,853 miles um, so far, which is loaded miles. I haven't counted my empty miles, so that's going to put me over 3,000 miles. Now, um, I still got one more day because today is Thursday. I will have this load uh, delivered in about three hours. So, um, right now, running short on time. Uh, I'm out of my 70s, so I'm working on recaps. When do I plan to go home? People ask me when am I going home. I don't plan on going home until maybe February. I don't really have anything going on in January that I need to be home for. So, um... I'm staying out, you know. Our shine got this uh, car I got him. Uh, so he has transportation back and forth to work. He's able to take man back and forth to work. So um, I got to pay for a car now. So, But um, I think I'm going to go home in February. I'm not sure. But I'm good. I'm running off of recaps. I have how many hours I got left. I have um, 10 hours left, 10 hours and 35 minutes left on my 70. I only got an hour back last night. So after 12 o'clock tonight, I'll get six hours back. I can still make something happen. I can still make something happen for tomorrow. Um, I just need like a little short run. I don't think they're going to give me nothing uh, too long tomorrow. I think they're going to give me like a little short run that I can uh, take and hopefully it'll deliver on friday or it'll drop on friday but i'll send a note today uh letting letting them know that i'll be there in a couple of hours uh also i'm gonna send a note to my dispatcher letting him know how much i appreciate him this week as far as making sure i stay running and also making sure that i got my miles this week so you know when you have a new dispatcher and they're working their hardest 
uh, to make sure that you get your miles and you accomplishing things that you want to do and you're not sitting and you're making your money you want to show them some kind of appreciation just to say thank you uh, job good job this week you know um, really appreciate it you know so they'll they'll uh, take heed to that and you know we'll make sure that they work on you staying busy so that's what i'm doing i'm over here in the reserve parking spot um at the pallet y'all know where that church's chicken is on 70 right when you get into illinois the time uh changes so I, I go back an hour but last night when i got here there was no parking spaces right so i parked over here and the only parking spaces that they had was reserved so i parked in the reserved parking area I got my clothes together to go in there and take a shower and somebody had parked their truck right in the front of the reserve area and once I got my bags and everything to uh, go in to go take my shower something that I always I never do I supposed to walk in front of the truck instead of behind the truck and I got my bag not thinking got out the truck and I proceeded to walk behind the truck well the truck proceeded to back up while i was walking behind it oh my god my life flashed before my eyes so i hurry up and got from around it and i mean he didn't even see me he kept he just kept backing up kept backing up so um but he didn't have his flashers on if, if he would have had his flashers on i would have knew he was trying to back up but he didn't have his flashers on so you know it was dark um and there's not a lot of light out here so when i went behind that truck he just started backing up and um i was like oh my god but i got around the truck ran in there took a shower and everything and i paid for reserve parking reserve parking is 13 dollars. okay so but what i did was when i came back out i'm the only one that got a ticket in my window everybody else the mood of reserve parking thing and they don't park and ain't nobody else got no ticket in their window so i know they ain't pay for no reserve parking so this morning what i did was i went back in there i said all them people slept out here last night reserve parking was full nobody paid for their parking i i need my money back so they gave me my money back because you i mean didn't nobody else pay why i gotta pay so they gave my 13 dollars back and um i'm getting ready to get get on the road and start rolling oh what i wanted to tell y'all oh if y'all um y'all seen when i went to the thing with uh uh yolanda tapping and she does her thing with divas with a driven purpose that group is about uh women uh drivers and things like that if you have not joined that group go ahead and uh uh join it uh right now they are getting together a trip so all the women and divas with a driven purpose they are planning a trip to go out to hawaii okay they're gonna fly to hawaii and they're going to meet up with the uh lady truckers of hawaii okay so it's going to be the lady truckers of hawaii which is a you know a big group of hawaiian truckers women truckers and then the divas with a driven purpose is going to uh go out there to hawaii it's going to happen in july i wish i can go i want to go so bad but i'm going to the truck show in march which is in louisville so i'm going to that i already plan to go to that um and then um i got i'm working on my um stuff i need for uh the the broker stuff so i don't really need to be spending that type of money to go out there and it's like right there in july so i hate i'm going to miss it because i want to go but i know they're going to be doing some other things in the near future but yeah, that's what they're doing. The Divas with a Driven Purpose is flying out to Hawaii. They got a wonderful hotel out there. They scheduled to, uh, you know, do different things uh, while they're out there. I think they're going to be out there for about four days. Um, I think the uh, I think the trip is maybe about two thousand dollars. But you can, um, you know, uh, t 
team up with other people but they're going to go out there and they're going to network with the female truckers of hawaii okay so that's going to be awesome that's going to be awesome um the other thing got going on is my agent i have an agent that's working for me um trying to do uh put together a reality show uh that takes time so she's working on that trying to do that to see what's a right fit for me but she did call me yesterday and she is looking for a african-american female that owns their own business but you have to live in uh california okay it's for a reality show so um you have to live in uh california uh mainly around the los angeles area and um if you are somebody that owns your own business entrepreneur you're in the california area you are a female african-american woman uh inbox me the name of your business uh, your phone number so I can get that over to her and she will call you to uh, set up a Skype interview uh, to do uh, a, the casting call for that for whatever it is that they're doing okay um, there's a lot of opportunities out here that uh, she works with she knows a lot of people in the industry and um, I just have to find uh, like I say the right fit uh for she just has to find the right fit for me okay so that's just going to take time but um other than that i think that's it the reality show is going on uh she need people for that divas with a driven purpose is going to hawaii um yeah that's it i got some calls i got to return people been asking me to give them a call so i'm gonna try to do that today and other than that we're going to uh Edwardsville, Illinois. It's candy time. Y'all, yesterday, it was like 10 LTI trucks on Highway 70 going east. I was counting them. I was like, I have never seen so many LTI trucks going the same direction at one time. And I'm like, is everybody going up there to Palmyra? We moving this candy, y'all. You know, Valentine's is coming up. Uh, you know, it's candy season. So you got Valentine's Day coming up. You got uh, Easter coming up. So you got a whole lot of things that's uh, coming up that requires, you know, candy. For the candy, you know, Valentine's is a big day for that. So we've been staying uh, uh, kind of busy. But other than that, y'all, I got to go. I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, Ripley. Mama got you in jail. Huh? Mama got you in jail, Ripley. Bye. Bye. I'll be back. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ripley. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> See? See you later, Ripley. See you later. I'll be back. I'll be back. Chill out. <laughs> Bye, Ripley. Bye. You don't want to stay in there? Huh? I can't hear you. What you say? What you say, Rip? You going to be a good boy? You say you're going to be a good boy? Did you say you're going to be a good boy? You going to eat any more of my bacon? Huh? You upset? Are you upset? Bye. <laughs> You mad, ain't you? You mad. You want to come out of there. <laughs> Better teach you. Next time, you won't eat my bacon, huh? See? You got to act right. You act right, won't nobody lock you in the cage. See, I'm going to get on the truck.
Come on, let go. We gotta go get a load. Come on. We get ready to go over here to back over here to Hershey. Pick up a load. We're gonna take it to Springfield, Missouri. Um it's not that many miles, only 234 miles to deliver in the morning. So we can go ahead and knock that out and get that. Where you going? Ripley? Where you going? Let's go. Get in the truck. Come on, we're gonna go back to the fence. Come on, I'm gonna you gonna go back and get in the uh cage. Come on, Rip, we're gonna go get a cage. You gonna go back and get your cage? <laughs> Wait, no. Good morning fam. I dropped my load in Edwardsville yesterday. I got another load coming over here to Springfield, Missouri. So now I'm in Springfield, Missouri. I got here last night. My appointment wasn't until 9 o'clock this morning. But I got here last night. Nobody was here. So I went ahead and parked in the door. And it is like 6 o'clock in the morning. They came in. And since I was already in the door, they went ahead and unloaded me first. So I pulled out the door, came on the side, closed my doors, cut my reef off. And I'm going back to sleep until I get another load. I'll talk to y'all later. But we are at... We are at 2,968 uh, miles, I think. So we only got 40 miles to go until we make 3,000. Today is Friday. Let's see if we can make it happen today. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Good afternoon, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva. I am coming to you today. I am in Minnesota. Early 
for my appointment and now it looks like I'm gonna be an hour and a half late for my appointment okay so what can you do I notified you know dispatch to let them know what was going on so they can get in touch with the load planner to let the customer know I also tried calling the customer to let them know as well but they didn't have a number directly to uh, receive it so I am 110 miles away so I'll get there about 130 and you know I hopefully they'll take me as a you know fit in or whatever if not I'll have to wait until either tomorrow to get unloaded or um, when they can get me another appointment but you know these things happen you got to get the things fixed so it can cause some delay um, but yeah up here in Minnesota it's just a lot of open area up here uh, besides from the snow and the ice the one thing I like about driving at daytime you can see uh, the road condition but at nighttime that the weather changes so much that's where you get all your ice your slick bows your slipping and sliding all kinds of things happen at night okay so that's why I try to be off the road at night but you see up here in Minnesota on 35 North they keep the roads pretty clean up here. They used to this type of weather, so they know what they have to do to make sure that the road conditions are, you know, treated and cleaned and all that kind of stuff, you know, so. And they will close down the highway up here if it's too bad. So the exits will close down if it's too bad. Uh, other thing up here in Minnesota, You'll see a lot of teen uh, student training up here, okay? Because this is where you're going to get your training, your winter training, your winter driving experience from. So you'll see a lot of companies up here with students in their truck, uh, either uh, Utah, uh, Northern California, Oregon, uh, Minnesota, Wyoming, Nebraska, all kinds of, all the Northern States, you will see a lot of companies that have students because they're trying to train them for the winter time so you know just watch out for that um, especially if you're in um, a truck stop okay I do know when I was at KLOM we was not the trainer was not allowed to uh, be in a sleeper berth uh, anytime a student got on or off an exit and anytime they was trying to uh, in a truck stop so when they turn in going into a truck stop we had to be in that seat um, so we could see what was going on especially if they was trying to park get fuel or anything like that but other than that y'all I just uh, let you know I get up here to St. Joseph Minnesota I will pick up a load tomorrow up out of here go right down to Tennessee and that's going to cover me for my weekend um, I did make the over 3,000 miles last week everything turned out well and I hope to do it again this week I also you know sent a special thank you message to my dispatcher uh, he's new and I, I just wanted to let them know, hey, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. I see you're working hard. Communication is good. You know, the loads are coming in on time. I'm not having to wait or anything like that. And it just makes my job a whole lot easier. So, you know, when somebody is doing a good thing and they're running your business the way that you like to be ran, you know, you want to tell them thank you. You know, I appreciate that because not too often, you know, people are shown appreciation for the job that they do. And hopefully he'll take notice and continue to do that. Um, I've been through five dispatchers already. So, you know, every time you get another dispatcher, you know, it's that learning curve, that learning process. So, but so far so good. I have no complaints. Um, but yeah, other than that, y'all, I just gotta do a video.
city. I got so much to do. I got um, to do a video with y'all with US Express, okay? I just got a confirmation that I can um, recruit for them for students. So students, if you have your CDL, I also have US Express that I can get you into until uh, February the 9th, okay? So I'm gonna be working very, very hard to get these students in because I think US Express has a great training program. Uh, they also have a lot of women over there um, and they're a big fleet. They run a lot of miles and I think you would get some good training over there as well. So uh, that's one of my options. So if you're getting out of school, getting your CDL, you haven't picked a place, where to, um, you could do OTR there, you could do regional there, you could do dedicated accounts there. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity at US Express. They also offer uh, lease, lease driving, okay? So there's a lot of growth that you could do at US Express. So I'm gonna uh, look over it tonight or whatever, try to give you some details on that. Uh, to be able to uh, contact me so I can get you signed out with US Express. Um, what else? I'm also noticing uh, with all the companies that I work with now, um, a lot of them are staying away from the quality trucks, okay? Most of these companies now, they have their own contracts that they're able to do uh, these purchase with you without sending you to uh, quality because if I'm not mistaken and I got to check on it but if I'm not mistaken uh, quality is requiring like a $5,000 deposit I'm not exactly sure but um, the companies that I'm looking at that 